Hello. Hello. Did you guys finish? Yes. Great. Let's wait for everybody. Is it your birthday, Amanda? Como você adivinhou? Como é que vocês sabem? Is it really your birthday? Oh yes. my God! I wasn't paying attention. I'm so sorry. Happy birthday! Thank you. How old are you today? 19? 19. 19? Yes. Wow. And now, Amanda. You have this film? <risos> What? Pra mim, a Amanda vai ter sempre 15 anos, cara. Ela não parece ter 19. <risos> Todo mundo fala isso. E ontem foi. A irmã dela parece mais velha. E ontem foi o birthday da Amanda? Two days. É two days? Sim. Yeah. Oh. Você percebeu? <risos> Congratulations. Amanda, você tá colocando tanto, tanto fundo nas aulas que eu nem olhei. Eu nem olhei Olha, o que, que, que é. Normal. É. Vocês Ai, não é quero quando... ter decoração é de João. Eu virei agora, eu virei agora e tava ah. assim, claro, aí não dava para entender. Ah, tá. Porque aí agora que você voltou, que tava só o seio da Alessandra, eu, uai, mas que específico, né? Aniversário de quem? Ah. Da tua irmã. Max, ele sabe, ele tá fazendo graça. É mesmo, é. 19, né? 19 years old. 19 years old. One more year and you will no longer be a teenager. Tu vai fazer 20, Amanda? Tu vai fazer 30 mais. <risos> Uh, yeah. Okay, guys, so let's continue. So on page 60 on activity 8, we have a text. Take a look at the text. Take a look at the aesthetic of the text. Where is this text? Where can you find this text? Is this a magazine? Uh, the, a newspaper? Internet. Oh, the internet. Blog. Okay. Uh, It's a yeah. blog. Yes. A What blog. is a blog? A uh, blog about, uh, is about uh, food. Yes, this blog is about food. But what is a blog? What is the definition of a blog? A page in the internet uh, where the people describe something. I don't know. <laughs> yes, look, we can consider. Like. Yes, we can consider that a blog is an online diary. So okay. people can have blogs about anything. Uh, so this person here, Gordon, Gordon's blog, he writes blog, he writes a blog about food. But we can have blogs about uh, books, we can have blogs about video games, we can have blogs about anything, we can have blogs about careers. Oh, my blog is about how to be a military man. My blog is about how to be a teacher. My blog is about how to be a musician. Blogs can be about anything. Uh, do you blog? Does anyone here have a blog? Teacher, uh, um, are there blogs nowadays? <laughs> They are not very, very common anymore. People are yeah. more like, people like more yeah, vlogs yeah, now. Yeah. 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 Ne yeah. Uh, social network. Yes. Yeah. What did you ask, Amanda? Twitter, quase a mesma coisa. Yeah, could be. Yes, Twitter is a social media. It's similar. A blog is, is different because you, you can write texts about whatever you want. But yeah. Uh, have you ever read a blog any time in your life? I... I... I don't... I, I think... <laughs> You have? What, what kind of blogs have you read, Lisandra? Um, I don't know, the superheroes, mm. animes. 
Okay. When I was younger, when I was 15, I think, I read a blog about a Brazilian man who moved to Canada. So he, he blogged about the differences between Brazil and Canada, the adaptations. Uh, he moved to a part of Canada that was very cold. And I remember his, he, I read one time in his blog that he said that the coldest day was a day that um, uh, it was negative 20, 20 degrees Celsius. And he lives very, very north in Canada. And I thought his blog was interesting, but I think it was the only blog I ever read. Uh, uh, what kind of blogs do you like to read? Why do you read them? I think nobody reads blogs anymore. But do you follow any vloggers, people who like to post vlogs on the internet? Hmm? If you follow, if oh. you follow any blogger on Instagram, you mm -hmm. follow vloggers. So do you okay. follow any vloggers? Yes. yes. What? Some peoples. I ask. Amanda, if you follow any vloggers, like blogueirinha do Instagram, this kind of stuff. Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. I don't think I follow any vloggers. If I do follow any vloggers, I don't watch their vlogs. So, same as nothing. Uh, okay. Here we have some internet... Uh, I forgot how to say siglas. I think it's acronym, but I'm not sure. So blog is an online diary. BOTW is blog of the week. Vlogger is a video blogger. A meme is an idea that spreads like a virus by word of mouth, email, blogs, or social networks. And LOL is laughing out loud. Uh, so now I, I want you guys to read Gordon's blog. Pay attention to the words in bold. What impression do they cause you? So first I'll, I'll give you some time to read the blog. And I want you to underline any words that you don't know. If you don't know the meaning of any words, underline. And then when you finish the text, we are going to read together and check the words that you don't know. So I'll give you some time. Read and underline the words you don't know, please. <clears throat> Let me know when you finish.
Okay. Finish. Okay. So let's read together and check the words that you don't know. I'll start reading the first part here, uh, and then I'll ask you guys to read after me. So Gordon's blog, Moroccan Couscous. Good evening, everybody. I couldn't wait to come and write this entry. My Moroccan couscous tastes, tastes delicious. Continue, please, Amanda. I bought this fantastic cookbook, so I've decided a new recipe, recipe every day for the last couple of weeks. Cooking my meals every day really makes me feel great about myself. It's not, it's not only cheaper to eat at home, but it's also Hit, hit, hit. Okay, continue please, uh, Leo, the second paragraph. Some friends have told me that I look thinner. I think then, oh, but unfortunately, I haven't lost any weight. I just as to be as I have always been. The difference is that I have been feeling fantastic since I start exercising. One of my friends wants me to do yoga with her. That sounds wonderful. Okay. Lisandra, uh, we are going to do, you read the first part of the paragraph and Max reads the second. But start, please. Okay. I remember when I used to sit on the couch, watch TV, and eat all sorts of junk food. It makes me sick just to think about it. I felt awful. It was impossible for me to do any kind of exercise. I was exhausted all the time. My lifestyle was a hug, worry for me. I was terrified. Continue. Yeah, just one more. I choked. I miss die at a very young age. Okay, Max, continue, please. I like tea. Thank you. Thank you, goodness. I have found this wonderful nutritionist, and I'm aiming at how much progress. I make every single day. Continue, Anna? Yeah, you can finish the paragraph. Now I can walk, cycling, and, and having one. I'm even starting to look younger, low. So it is my Piece of advice, exercise, and it help if you you want to live longer. Yes, very good. So everybody, let's just repeat, please, for pronunciation. So pay attention just for pronunciation. But this Bot. is yes. Recipe. Recipe. Mm -hmm. Healthier, chubby, huge, thought, might, nutritionist, amazed, and younger. Okay, those are the correct pronunciations. Now you, do you have any words in the text that you don't know what they mean? Uh, what mean chubby? Chubby. Okay. Any other words? Let's just write them all down and then we can check. Any Tasty, others? Tasters. Tasters. Where is it? Tasters delicious. Oh, okay. Tastes. Okay. What else? Uh, huge. 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 What else? 
on food. Awful. Okay. That's it? Yes. Okay. Um, so, chubby is the opposite of thin. Chubby is a synonym of fat. But chubby is less offensive. You can't say someone is fat because it's considered offensive. Uh, so when someone is a little bigger, but you can't say fat, we normally say chubby. So fulano is a little chubby. Okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, uh, chubby is a, per, uh, is a, a little fat, uh, fat person. Yes, is a fat person, fat but person. it's fat is offensive. Normally, we don't say uh, na cara, né? in the person's yeah. face that they're fat. We say chubby. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, tastes. How can I explain? Tastes is what you feel with your mouth. So, for example, perfume we smell. Yes, perfume we smell, and pizza. We taste, we feel the taste of pizza with our mouth. Okay, let me just put here my, my charger because the. Oh my god, what is this notebook charger? Oh, for heaven's sake, I think it's outside. Okay, we can wait a little bit longer. Um, okay, so I'm going to write here feel with mouth. Huge is a synonym of enormous or enormous, very big. When something is very big, something is huge. Awful is a synonym of terrible or horrible. So awful, terrible, and horrible are synonyms. Okay, everybody? All right. Uh, so here on the activity, <clears throat> we have read the text, blah, blah, blah. Pay attention to the words in bold. What impression do they cause? So in bold, we have the words delicious, fantastic, great, uh, fantastic again, uh, awful, impossible, exhausted, huge, terrified, and amazed. We have these words. These words are what we call, how can we say? We can say that they are intensity words. So for example, we can say that something is good. Or if you want to say it with a little more intensity, we can say that something is great. And if we want to say with a little more intensity, we can say that something is fantastic. So they are all synonyms, but there are like levels of intensity. Good, great, fantastic. Oh, this person is fantastic. This person is more than great. It's fantastic. Amazing, um, amazing yes. Amazing is also an intensity for good. Amazing. Let's see the other example here is impossible. I can say that something is hard or difficult. And I can say that something is impossible. So it's a very intense form of talking about something that is difficult. Pretty much these are the ideas of these words. So on activity C, on part C, you are going to complete the table with the words in bold. What's the difference between the adjectives in column one and the adjectives in column two? So for example, here we have tasty is the same as delicious. Tired, what is the synonym of tired in the text? Exhausted. Exhausted, exactly. Try to complete the rest of the table with the words in bold, please. I'm going to take a minute to find my, my notebook charger. Just a moment. I'll be right back.
Everybody done? No? Yes. Okay. I'll wait. Okay, let's check. Okay, and to finish, uh, I think we only have time for one more. You're going to go back to the text, study the words in green, and complete each sentence below with one of them. So we use tanana plus adjective when we hear someone talk about an idea or experience. Number two, we use plus adjective when we see someone or something. And three, we use plus adjective when we try food or drinks. So this time we need to study the words in green. In green, we have tastes, sounds, and look. Taste. So taste, sound, and look. So number one, we use plus adjective when we hear someone talk about an idea or experience. What's, what verb do we use? Sound. Sound. Oops. We use plus adjective when we see someone or something. Look. Three, we use plus adjective when we try fruit or drinks. Taste. 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 So, um, Let's see the examples in the text here. Let's go back for a moment. In the text we have, Moroccan couscous tastes delicious. Uh, for sound we have, that sounds wonderful. And for look we have, uh, now I can walk, cycle and even run. I'm even starting to look younger. So we use the combination of these verbs with the adjectives uh, in these cases. Uh, 7.43 now, so we're going to finish here. Next class, we complete the sentences in letter E. So next class, we finish this part here, and then we continue to activity night. Okay, guys, thank you very much. I will see you on Monday, and bye-bye. Happy birthday, Amanda. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Happy birthday, Amanda. Não se inscreve, de... Não se, esquece de se inscrever no canal, <laughs> dá o like. Compartilhar com a gente. Aí ativar o sininho. Isso aí mesmo. <risos>